All right, and here's my, uh, hopefully my source of heat for this winter. I made this Babington ball burner after reading a bunch of what other people had done online. See, I'm using a uh, four inch tube. Uh, it's that flange is off of a Beckett burner because I'm going to be installing this into a boiler that used to have a Beckett oil gun. I found it, well, it seemed like it was going to be easier to convert the, uh, or to mill, build this rather than to convert that Beckett oil gun. Anyway, I'm using a tank I got from um, Enco, the online company for all sorts of machining stuff. That's a tank that's meant to pump coolant up for, uh, for cutting tools. Um, let's see, what else? Right now I'm using a single ten thousandth of an inch hole, and then I'm running, burning diesel fuel, although I will be uh, setting up a heating system to heat waste motor oil so I can burn that. But for the moment it's up and running and working. I need to uh, start working on the next steps of uh, modifying that tube to go into the uh, boiler and then modifying, uh, well, getting, getting the boiler all hooked up to my system here. I'm trying to think what else was uh, somewhat pertinent. Now, well, I guess that's it. Oh, I'm running, running about 40 PSI. It seems like it uh, tries to sputter and go out if I go much more or much less. It even sputters a little bit here and there now, but I think a lot of that has to do with just the wind. Thing seems really, really touchy for uh, for wind. But uh, yeah, so far a successful first trial run, and we'll see what happens once I get some more modifications made. I'm kind of curious to see how it's going to respond to uh, having to blow into a burn chamber rather than just openly blowing through a tube. But we'll figure it out.